Singer, Songwriter Michael Bronach. Einen wunderschönen Song haben wir eben gehört von ihm, The Light. Jetzt wollen wir natürlich noch viel, viel mehr über ihn erfahren. Stammt ja aus Irland, wohnt aber schon seit vielen, vielen Jahren, ich glaube seit Ende der 90er Jahre in New York. Jetzt werden wir kurz mal wieder die Sprachen wechseln. Thank you so much for being here, Michael Bronach. Um, Your solo career, you established that when you relocated to, to New York City. Because I remember back in the, in the 90s in Ireland, you would play with, with bands such as Little Palace and the, and the Van Winkles. Why did you leave Ireland and, and go to such an amazing melting pot as New York City surely is? When I was in college, um, earlier than that, I, I went on a, a J1 visa. A couple of years ago. Yeah, a few years before <laughs> that. I went on a J1 visa, so, mm -hmm. and I have relations there. There's a huge tradition of emigration from Ireland to, yeah. to America anyway. So my aunt lived there and I got to know my cousins. So it was easy for me to, to make that choice once I went the second time. Yeah. It wasn't a scary place to go. And uh, it's where all the music happens, I think, you know, and I felt that for the next step of my career, I needed to go there. And um, it was an easy transition for me. So, so you yeah. wouldn't have any problems, you could still really hold on even over there to musical identity because I think in, in New York even there, th there's a big traditional Irish music scene over there, isn't there it? There is, yeah, yeah. Like the, it's, I think after Riverdance, a lot of the musicians who went on those tours, because that Riverdance was massive. There it was were, like a worldwide phenomenon, I think at it? one stage there were three, three different shows on the road. Yeah. So um, a lot of those musicians got green cards eventually and a lot of that, that scene is still very much alive there. Yeah. I'm not particularly traditional, but I like to use those instruments in my music. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very, it's a, it's, it's a, it was a home from home very quickly. And I'm, okay. I'm comfortable there uh, from the beginning. And there is an Irish community, but I guess to expand musically, you need to mix with all cultures, you know, and that's the best place to do it. Th that's yeah. for sure. but. The thing that really fascinates me is, is because at the beginning I, I would talk about it, is the soundtrack you did for, for a movie starring Sean Penn. The movie's called This Must Be The Place, it was back in, in 2011. I remember it was like a big thing at the Cannes Film Festival when Sean Penn came out with, with that movie. But how did you get involved with, with that project? Was there like an audition going on or did, did the producers really actually just, they, they googled your name? How, how did they come up with you? Because they wanted you to actually play six songs for the soundtrack mm -hmm. for, for that particular film. Yeah. Um, it was a very surreal event, really. I, I, I had a, a profile there. I played a lot, and I still do, down the Lower East Side. So I have a presence there, at website, and at the time it was MySpace. MySpace, yeah. And that's where they, they found me. Um, they, I guess the director, he's a big fan of David Byrne, of Bonnie Prince Billy, of, and of Sean Penn, and he wanted to write something where he could incorporate all of these things. And the songs were mostly written by David Byrne, mm -hmm. the music especially. And uh, so, but they wanted to find, it's partly set in Ireland, the movie. So they wanted to find a singer who had, uh, they had a criteria for it. It was like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they wanted someone with a tenor voice and somebody who had a slightly unaffected accent and uh, who lived in New York. So that narrowed it down. An Irishman in New York, yeah. not an Englishman, an Irishman. So, <laughs> so they came, came up with you. That is amazing, David yeah. Brumba, the, the, the talking heads. Did, did you, did, how, how did this all happen? Did, did he call you up and, and, and tell you about, or, or, or was it like mm. a, a secret project? Did, did, did they tell you about it? Was a big um, a movie coming out? Well, I got an email from, from his producer, from David's producer, and asked me to, would I do a demo for, and it had to be done quite quickly uh, in my studio, and uh, for a particular song. And um, he, he just said it was for a major mm -hmm. production, major film. So I wouldn't say any actors or no, nothing yeah, at all? No, no names until, uh, until it was accepted. And there were, I believe, others in for it as well. But, um, and they paid quite well to do the, just that one demo. Um, so I did that and then the following week the, the same man called me back and then he said, well, you've been picked for it. And then he told me it's a Sean Penn movie. <laughs> And uh, David Byrne is doing all the music, and I'm a huge fan of David Byrne's from, from years ago, yeah. from Talking Heads and stuff. And he said, uh, uh, David's going to call you in a couple of minutes. So I was kind of shocked. I was driving, I had to pull over <laughs> and just wait. And then I, um, he called, and then 
told me it was he was going to do six or seven songs mm -hmm. and he'd send me the stuff and we'd meet the following few weeks and so it was it was a whole process and working in the studio one was really inspiring you know and really really uh, I learned a lot from that and he's a really uh, focused person you know, when he's in the studio and he, and a gentleman and really it was an honor to to sing on it on the songs with Wir wollen euch natürlich da draußen auch mal den Trailer zeigen, weil das ist gerade die interessante Geschichte. Er hat den Soundtrack geschrieben zum Sean Penn Film This Must Be The Place. Musik übrigens auch von David Byrne von den Talking Heads. Und er hat ihn irgendwann angerufen, da war er gerade unterwegs im Auto. Und dann haben sie ihm gesagt, du hast den Job, du hast jetzt sechs Songs, die du für, für diesen Film schreiben kannst bzw. singen kannst. Und euch da draußen will ich diesen Trailer mal zeigen. Wirklich wunderschöne Musik von Michael Brunnock für diesen Film mit Sean Penn aus dem Jahr 2011. Wir können mal ganz kurz reinschauen hier in den Trailer. Hier ist er. From what I've seen, you're a magnificent. You fight evil. Dad, my father is dying, and I haven't flown in 30 years. Fair flying is not your only problem. That's true. One of the reasons I fell in love with you. I didn't talk to my father in 30 years. I don't know the first thing about him. All he ever did was search for his persecutor at Auschwitz. He never found him. Aus dem Jahr 2011, Paolo Sorrentino, im vergangenen Jahr ja noch den Oscar auch gewonnen und der Soundtrack von Michael Bronach. But it didn't stop there. After a short break, we'll be talking about you accepting a very, very interesting and uh, very important award in Italy for that very soundtrack. So there's a lot more coming up with you and uh, two more songs. Looking forward to that. And actually, you're going to be performing one of the songs from the movie here tonight yes. in our studio. Vielen, vielen Dank, Michael Bronach, für diesen Moment. Gleich noch zwei Songs von Ihnen zum anderen. Und unter anderem wird auch ein Song aus diesem Film hier bei uns live singen. Freue ich mich sehr drauf. Jetzt aber erstmal ganz kurz geht es hier weiter mit den Kollegen vom Klickblick. Klick.